We're standing in a cucumber field just outside of Immokalee right now. This is what we refer to as double crop cucumbers, which means there was a crop grown here before the cucumbers. It's a way for us to utilize the plastic and drip tape and land again instead of just one crop. Um, this was a bell pepper field in the winter and now it's a cucumber field. The sandy soils in southwest Florida really lend themselves to drip irrigation. There is a hose underneath the plastic bed that drips very small amounts of water and fertilizer directly into the roots of the cucumber. We talk about two different seasons. We have a fall season and then a spring season. During the winter time, the cold fronts that Florida receives cause a lot of wind scarring on the fruit, so the cukes are not really grown in Florida during the dead of winter. Depending on if you grew from seedlings or if you grew from direct seed, it could take anywhere from 70 to 90 days, depending on weather. Cucumbers especially do not like temperatures below 40 degrees. Cool nights obviously slow down a plant a lot from growing. The field we're standing in will be harvested in the next couple of days. The cucumbers are put in large boxes and sent to our packing facility. Once they're at the packing facility, they're washed, sorted, into different sizes, possibly colors if there's some off coloring. So it'll get put into many different grades depending on the quality of the crop. You're talking two to three days. It could be in a store ready to be eaten or in a restaurant. Some of the things we look for on a cucumber is the cucumber is very smooth and it has good consistent green color. You can see that this cucumber grew very nice. It's got a little bit of light wind scarring on it, but not enough to kick it out of the retail. If we slice this cucumber open, See, that's a beautiful on the inside. The whole entire cucumber is edible. I'm Scott Rush, and I grow cucumbers fresh from Florida.